Good day mga Kabayan Techers! This is Sir Kabayan Tech and today we are going to image a Windows computer and deploy it to another computer with the same specification. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, click that subscribe button. You are doing me a solid and if you eventually like this video, kindly click on the thumbs up. Thank you very much. So as from the previous video that we have on cloning your Windows computer, this is another method of copying your Windows to another drive. We are going to save an image of this existing computer and deploy it to another computer. What I'm using right now is not for commercial use. I'm not sponsored by Macrium Software, but I really like their software very much. It's easy to use and easy to understand. So for this scenario, I will do an installation for one computer and then copy that image and write it over to this multiple computers that I have in here. There are other ways to do this one, especially when it comes to network deployment, but this would be the easiest way that I could do, especially when you are a home user. So we're going to go on to other tasks. And then from other tasks, we're going to create, create rescue media. If this is the first time that you're going to create this ISOs, it's going to download those Windows PE file from the Microsoft web. Make sure that you are connected to the internet. So we're going to create an ISO file and we are going to save it on our desktop. So we're going to save it as Macium Rescue PE 10 so that we could identify each file and then click on save. Next would be, we're going to click on advance and you want to select if you're going to use it on 64-bit or 32-bit, but most of the computers that I've been dealing right now is on 64-bit. If you want to have multiple ISOs on 32-bit and 64, then you have to create a total of four files for your Windows 10 and your Windows 11. So I'm just going to do two files for today, both on 64-bit, and I'm going to select the Windows PE 10. If you're going to ask me why not use the Windows RE, there are times that I tried this one, and when I go on to Windows 11, it's having a hard time restoring the file and it's giving me an error. So that's the reason why I ended up splitting up my PEs to either Windows 10 or below or Windows 11. So let's go on to Windows 10 first. So since on this computer, computer I already done the rescue disk, it won't let me download anymore the Windows PE. So I'm going to cl uh, click on build. And since this demonstration is for non-commercial use, we're going to check this checkbox. So click on OK. And it's going to initialize and create that ISO. And it's already done. Let me close this one and show you the file. And it's already here. So let's go back to Macrium. And then we go again to other tasks, create rescue media. And now we're going to create another PE. So I'm going to name this one as PE 11. Click on save and then I go to advance and then I choose 11 and then I click on OK. And then we do the build. So the license free agreement will show up. We click, this is for a non-commercial use. We click on the checkbox and click on OK. Now it's going to initialize. And since I haven't done any Windows 11 PE on this computer, it's going to download that Windows 11 PE over the website. So you click on download. And we have successfully created the Windows 11 PE. So we click on OK, click on close, and then we click close on this one. So you might notice that, that there are two files already. First one is the PE for the Windows 10 and then the PE for Windows 11. I'm going to insert the USB that I'm going to use. I insert, I already inserted it. I'm going to use the Yumi XFAT. There are a lot of uh, videos also on how to use Yumi, so you could consult those other videos too. So I'm going to click on agree. And then here I'm going to redetect the disk. So I'm going to prepare this disk. This will erase everything on the drive that we have. Then I'm going to click on yes. So this will create the bootloader for the USB stick. And when we go, when we turn on the computer and press your hotkey for your boot option, you could boot from the USB stick. And from there, you could choose uh, which program you want to load up. So after Yumi initialize the drive, we are going to add those two images. We're going to click on select a distribution and we're going to go on to Windows 10 installer ISO. And then let's browse for the image and it is saved on our desktop. So this is your Windows 10 and we're going to create. This will copy the ISO file onto the USB stick so that we could boot later on. And then you click on next. And then we're going to add one more ISO, which is the uh, Windows 11 PE ISO. And then browse it again. If you don't need to add anything, you click on finish. So for us to create an image, we are going to click image this disk and it's going to image this one. So it's going to ask, where do you want to copy the image file? It needs to be another drive, not the same drive that you are using right now. So since I have an external drive plugged in, I'm going to click on folder. So I, this one is the USB stick. It won't fit here. It's just eight gigs. I do have another drive that is a 256. So I'm going to click on that and then click on OK. The backup name, I would suggest doing an advanced option. 
the auto verify image i would suggest that you verify the image after it's done creating it i did have some scenarios that i didn't do this and i end up having an image that was corrupted or it doesn't want it to load and then the last one would be the prefix i'm going to uncheck this one because it's going to put different numbers first before the file name that you could recognize we're going to click on okay and then for the file name, this is my T610 computer that I'm going. So it comes with Windows, Win10, and also Batocera. The file name would be like this, and it will have a suffix like this. We click on Next. So I'm not going to do anything on this. We click on Next. So this is the final summary of what it's going to do and copy. It's going to do five operations in total. And I'm going to click on Finish. We're going to run the backup now and i'm not going to save a backup definition file then it's going to test the disk write speed of your source drive and we will go back and i will show you how it looks like to deploy that image onto another computer using the windows pe that we created it's finished it's copying and it has created its file now it's just finishing up verifying that file and checking any inconsistencies on the file so we have to wait for this one so once everything is done and verified, I click on OK, and then I close this one, and then I close the actual software. So when I go onto this PC and open the external drive that I have, which is the 256, it has the T610 Win10 Batocera image file that we copied, and this one is almost uh, 54 uh, gigabytes of storage. So let me shut this one down. So I'm using this computer over here, and I also have this one that I'm going to copy the same image that I have in here. So I'm going to take out the USB drive uh, that is connected on this current computer, which is this one, and the data file that we have, which is on this external drive. So I'm going to connect it on this computer here that we have on the left side. So I'm going to plug this one here, and I'm going to plug this one at the back portion of the computer. And as per manufacturer's website, the hotkey for uh, going to the BIOS of this HP computer is using the escape button. So let me power it up and press the escape button. So I go to boot option and then I select the drive, the eight gigabyte drive and enter. It will load up the Yumi boot drive and you're going to go to your Windows installer. So here, these are the two files that we have created. When you go to, to Macrium PE 10, you can do that by simply pressing enter and then the, uh, the Macrium PE will load up. We are going to select boot in normal mode. So now once it loads up, we, we could do a browse an image file here. So we are going to do an existing backup restore. So we do in this one. So we're going to access the untitled E and this is the file that we are looking for. Then it will load that image. So we click on restore. Now it's going to ask you, where do you want to put that image? What I'm going to do is if I don't want this one, I'm just going to erase it because I want this partitions to be placed here. We're going to do copy partition. Then we click on next. Then we click on finish. This will tell you that it's going to erase the destination drive on this computer. So we click on continue and then it's going to start writing the information from the external drive over to this computer that we have on the left. So the restart took 37 minutes. So we click on OK and we click on close. Let me shut this down. Click on the shutdown button here for this PE and I'm going to shut it down and click on OK. So once it's shut down, so let's remove all the connected external drives and then let's turn on the computer as per normal. Go on to the escape key okay, and then go to the boot menu. So let me just go to Windows Boot Manager. So I have disconnected the drive that contains the image and also the bootable PE. And we're now just waiting for the Windows to boot up. Once this one boots up, all you have to do is re-register your license key for this Windows if you have it. And you're pretty much good to go. And that's it mga Kabayan Techers. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, kindly write them down below. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, do me a solid and click on that subscribe button. Again, thank you very much and have a good day.